is this simplifications or approximations i sense that this should be from approximations the way it has been given and where are the options without giving the options how can you expect one to solve a question from simplifications but anyway it looks like this is an approximations based question because we have like 727.9995 right and then with 10.7960 usually these things are given under approximations and you have to give the options here without options all these are different anyway i would say 727.9995 is approximately 728 plus 5.1961 let's say approximately 5 so 5 squared 25 equals to x uh, x divided by 2 by 10.7960 uh, so 2 by 10 let's say this is like 2 by 10 so like 1 by 5 1 by 5 x by 1 by 5 so 728 plus 25 is 50 equals to 5x you know x by 1 by 5 we give you 5x so what is x 753 by 5 so that will be 150.6 approximately i mean somewhere around 150 approximately 150 right so i i would still suggest that skip is one solution that you must keep in mind unless you are really confident and you are ready to take a chance because remember at times you may go wrong See, we are definitely not going to find what is three point zero two whole square, right? We will take three square. Now there is a chance that you may go wrong by. I mean, it it all depends on how how close you are to the right answer, right? How close you are to the right answer. So you may go wrong. You should be prepared for that. You should be prepared for that. The only point that I am trying to mention here is don't get stuck. Don't spend sixty seconds and then say that ये नहीं हो पाएगा, right? This is not my Oh, I mean, th this is not something that I would solve. You should skip it instantly. So either skip it or do something in like thirty, forty, five seconds and mark some answer there, some appropriate answer there. Okay. So let's let's take it up. Now let me just rewrite the question here so that it looks a little easier to follow. Square root of three one three five divided by three point zero two whole squared. This divided by square root of forty eight point seven. Divided by eighty point seven nine. This multiplied by seventeen point six nine. Divided by square root of sixteen point two four, which is equal to question mark squared into square root of seven eighty four divided by eleven. Sorry, one hundred eleven point seven eight. Huh? Let's find out who has framed this question. Made our life so complex. Yeah, easy. Some of you say it's easy. Yeah. Good. Pradeep says it's easy. Rahul is confident that the answer is thirty-four, and uh, it is easy considered in earlier questions. Apur Varavat also says it's easy. On the other hand, we have Nagini who says I am not able to solve. Yeah, so clearly a mixed response here. Now, how do you solve it? See, I think what you need to really focus on is this question mark square. Remember that this question is involved. i mean we have to find out what comes in place of question mark but it is involved a square of that so i would i would try to represent everything else in terms of perfect squares here so that i can take the square root because eventually for you to find out what comes in place of question mark you have to take square root of something right you do all this jumble shifting and all that right like 784 will go on the other side in the denominator 111.78 will go on the other side in the numerator and all that but then finally i would try to do something where numbers look like perfect squares so that finally when you have square root uh, question mark square equals to something here i can apply square root on both the sides easily and see which one is the correct answer here okay so so keeping that in mind let's solve it i mean that's an approach that you must follow for for such type of questions the the missing value or the approximate value that we may have to find out may involve only question mark also sometimes if it is only question mark then you don't have to really go with that idea but since it is question mark square try to represent every number in terms of a perfect square or you know as as much as possible okay so what i would do now is question mark square is equal to see again this this uh, would mean that you would have practiced a lot right you must be good in numbers like i know i, I would i am better off replacing 3135 as 3136 approximately 3136 3135 is 3136 i'll tell you why we are taking as 3136 later but let's just change it so 3135 is 3136 3.02 let's take it as 3 3 square 
Now, one technique that I have discussed in the video of simplifications, if you go through the Talensmith's video of simplifications, you would know that if it is like, let's say, A by B divided by C by D, you know, while writing in the first step itself, you must say this is like A by B into D by C. Nothing new here. I'm sure all of you know this. So what I would do is I will change this division to multiplication. You all would agree with me that multiplying numbers is easier than division, right? Multiplication is an easier option when compared to division. So we will convert this division sign to multiplication. How do you do? How do you do that? Replace division by multiplication and reciprocate the fraction here. So what is in the denominator will go in the numerator 80.79. And what is in the numerator will go in the denominator, 48.7. You understand? You're getting it. Moreover, I think I'm, I'll, I'll do it a little differently, right? Let me just, I'll, I'll write the same thing first, right? 3135 and this is like 3.02 whole squared. I'm, I'm copying the same question first. So what we have done, we have converted this division to multiplication. 80.79 divided by 48.7. Multiplication remains multiplication. And don't convert this multiplication to division. I mean, this like makes no sense, right? 17.69 divided by square root of 16.24. And now this particular fraction, which is there on the question mark side, has to be taken on the other side, right? So what do we do? 11, 111.78 goes to the numerator and square root of 784 comes in the denominator, right? That is it. Now let me do the approximation. So what I would do is I'll show you what approximations we have done in a different color. So what I'm doing is uh, this 3135 becomes 3136 approximately. Right, this 3.02 is being taken as 3 square approximately. 80.79, I'll take it as 81 approximately. 48.7, I'll take it as 49 approximately. 17.69, let us take it as 18. 16.24, let me take it as 16. I mean, I, I, I want perfect squares, right? So square root of 16 is 4. I mean, I, I want it to be like easy, easy to simplify. That's the reason 48.7 has been replaced by 49. I don't have to tell you why. Because 49 square under root is 7. 80.79 has been taken as 81. Of course, anybody would take it as 81 only, but more so here because we are trying to look at perfect squares. I mean, I have question mark square on the left hand side. Similarly, 3.02 has been taken 3. Why did we take 3135 as 3136? Because, you know, in the back of my mind, I know that 56 square is 3136. Now, are we expected to learn up to 56 square by heart? No. But I'm sure if you have spent like a couple of hours in practicing on squares, you would this number would get struck with you. Or when you do an approximate calculation of square root of 3135, you'll find out that it is 56. Yeah, 111.78, let us take it as 112. Yeah, and 784 is a perfect square, right? I mean, 28, 784 under root is 28, right? Square root of 74 is 28. Now do the calculation. Now what happens? So if I if I write the next step, square root of 3136 is 56 divided by 3 square is 9 into 81. Square root of 49, what is square root of 49? 7 into this is 18 as it is, right? This is... You understand? I think just give me a second to not to confuse you guys. I will change. Yeah, I'll change it as follows, right? I'm, I'm using the darker pen too. So this is uh, 56 square root of 3136 divided by the denominator is 3 square, which is 9 multiplied by 81 as it is. Square root of 49 in the denominator makes it 7, right? And 18 as it is again. Then square root of 16 is 4, right, into 1 to 12. And what is square root of 74? Uh, 28, right? 28 square is 74. 28 square is 74. Now simplify this. This is question mark square again. Remember question mark square. Yeah? Now do the calculation. What happens? Uh, 28 here. Um, how do I make it simple? Yeah. So 28 goes how many times here? 28 goes 4 times in my view, right? 4 into 28 is 112. Cancelled. Yeah, 4 into 28 is 112. So that 112 gets cancelled. Uh, then what happens? This is 2 times. 7 goes 8 times. So we have 8 into 81 into 2. But 8 into 2 is 16. So 16 into 81. That's it. I mean, this is what we are looking for. 16 into 81. So what happened? Question mark square is 16 into 81. Apply square root on both the sides. Question mark will be square root of 16 into 81. Square root of 16 is 4. And square root of 81 is 9. 4, 9 is 36. So I think 36 is the closest here. 36 option 5. Yeah. You have, you have not done too much of deviation. 5 was made 6. 48.7 has been increased by 0.3. This has been increased by 0.21. This has been reduced by 0.02. Increased by 0.31. Reduced by 
of course sometime even 0 0.02 can you know give a big difference but otherwise no way out skip this is solution number one and what you have done is solution number two and then do not go by the length of the explanation and number of sets that you have put on paper right you don't do all this drama in the exam you directly start putting up what is important i mean like like if you are solving in the exam you should start from this step let me let me highlight you should you should Yeah, you should you should start from this step. You directly write question mark square equals to this because three one three five will give you fifty six. This is nine. This is seven. This is eighty one. This is whatever eighteen four and so on. And then do the calculation. So I think only one step when you do it yourself in the exam. Okay, all that I've done before this is to explain you how to arrive at the answer. So this question uses square roots. Here, see, you have an eighty four squared. What is the answer for this? Any of you are getting the answer? Five. So before I solve it, see again I told you know there is one more method which we can use for numbers between uh, 75 and 125. So earlier we discussed the method to solve uh, numbers between 25 and 75. Now I will teach you the method to solve such questions using uh, the method that we did earlier. Okay, Between 75 and 125. So again you have uh, two boxes here. So this is generally represents the num. Okay, and then you have to take x is equal to the number minus 100 okay let me not put this here yeah uh, so this is the uh, method that you use to uh, uh, calculate squares of numbers between 75 and 125 now let us take this 83 okay now 83 first what you do is find out a value of x which is equal to the number minus 100 basically the deviation of the number from 100 that's what it means so here you have 83.99 whole squared correct so basically i'm approximating it as 84 so i have to find out the value of 84 squared okay so what i do is x is equal to 84 minus 100 or that is equal to minus 16 now just put this in the box you will get the answer what is minus 16 the whole squared find that then here minus uh, 16 a uh, number what is the number 84 plus minus 16 number plus x so that will give you your answer so 84 uh, minus 16 correct that is 68 now you have minus 16 squared that is uh, 256 correct but you know the square of this number has to be a four digit number because any number uh, below 10,000 right that is basically any number below 100 squared will be a four digit number so this two here no you have to take it as a carry and give it to this step so the answer that you get will be 7056 okay so this is the uh, way in which you calculate squares of numbers between 75 and 125 okay hope it is clear see you can do uh, the same method for numbers greater than 100 also so let us say if you have a number 107 using the same method how will you do it put it in the box uh, you have x is equal to 107 minus 100 that is 7 so do the 7 squared here the number plus x that is 107 plus 7 that is 114 so 114 Four, nine. that will be the square of 107 okay hope it is clear so this was the other method that I was talking about yeah now come back to the question so here you have root of 11450 so again uh, root of 11450 is very close to root of 11459 right see it is 100 100 and some value actually correct it is uh, 49 it is actually very close to 107 squared so you can approximate it and take it as 107 or 105 because see you know what is 105 squared 105 squared very easily you can find out right 5 into 5 25 10 into 11 11025 so this is 11450 correct just greater than 105 somewhere there so you can take it approximate it as some value now that in the question we found out this is the square root of 107 you can take it directly as 107 otherwise approximate it as 106 or 105 that's fine okay because you are just approximating here so if you take it as 107 let's take it because now we know the value now 6240 again uh, 6240 what will be the uh, square root see you know 6400 is 80 squared so 6240 somewhere less than just less than 80 correct you can take it something as 78 or 79 okay we don't know you can just take some value closer to that then minus you have 47 squared minus 84 squared so now 84 squared what answer did we get we got it as 7056 correct now 40 uh, 47 squared 
you can very easily find out using the same table that we uh, took so that will be approximately i mean 47 squared you will get the correct value 2209 you do this calculation i think approximately you will get the answer close to 815 so that is there in the option minus 815 so there is only one option of that way take that as the answer see in this question yes none of these is there to confuse us uh, but uh, they have in the key it is given as minus 815 because it is that is the closest option but i hope in exams they won't confuse us and will not give these option at least or the option will at least be different not close okay so i hope the method is clear let us assume that none of these is not there and let's take the answer for now as option a okay because that seems to be the closest option